Hey, what's up guys? Shmodaddy2. I'm going to uh, show you my Amazing Spider-Man uh, complete run that I have from number 167 all the way down to the unknown. Alright, here's 167. Uh, it's a Spider Slayer. Uh, let's put this back here. And here's 166. Lizard and Stegron. Number 165. Alright, 164, pretty cool kingpin cover. Probably gonna do this one down to about 101 or so, or as far as I can get it. I don't have time to go through all these, and then I'll, show, I'll do a part two, 162. And then we have 161. I believe this one, or the other one, was the first appearance. Oh, never mind. I don't even know. Can't even remember now. I think Jigsaw first appeared in one of those books. Probably 162. Lost my train of thought. There's number 159. Kind of a cool... I think it's a Romata cover, I believe. So. Number 158. Need to invest some money in some Mylar for some of these. I have all my Silver Age ones in Mylar, but my Bronze ones are not. 157. I think this is a great cover. Dr. Octopus. Number 156. You know, these books are pretty fun to read about this time, but um, the stories are pretty wacky. I don't know. I don't think it was as quality as it was at this point. I'm kind of impartial to Stan Lee's writing. 154. But I did think it was pretty clever to kill Gwen Stacy and to keep her dead. Number 152, it's Return of the Shocker. I don't think they had him in the book much until about this point. Number 151, this was actually a very high grade. I thought this was an awesome cover. John Ramada cover. I think. I could be wrong, but I believe that's Ramada. In fact, it has to be. There's no question. Alright, number 150. I had some requests to upload these, and um, I've been wanting to do it for a while anyway. I just wanted to get a complete run going before I showed you guys, since I, I'd uploaded a video a long time ago, but I, I've been, I was missing a lot of books, and I've filled in a lot of the gaps. Number 148, this one's a little kind of low grade. I need to upgrade this one. Yeah, it's got a lot of wear right there. <clears throat> and I have like giant size and annuals thrown in here and there. I, don't, I know I'm missing a couple of the annuals, but they don't really interest me so much. I do need to get them though, but I'm not so worried about them. 147. And number 146. Actually, that annual I just showed you, I believe was the third appearance of the Punisher. 145. The Shocker. Not the Shocker, the Scorpion. Sorry. 144. So uh, when they did the Gwen Stacy clone, which I think was kind of stupid. They were just trying to tease the fans into thinking they were going to bring back Gwen. <clears throat> 142. Pretty cool Mysterio cover. Number 141. Number 140. Number 139. Number 138. And you know, also, I uh, have to apologize though when I get down to the end at number 101. I believe I, I don't know what I did with my uh, first appearance of Morbius book. It's, I started about a month ago and I was reading it and it's somewhere in one of these boxes, but I'm not going to go through them all to find it. So I take my word for it that I have that book. I'll show it to you later. I don't know what I did with it, but I'm not going to dig through a million boxes just to find it. Number 136, the first second Green Goblin, which is Harry Osborne. And here is uh, the second Punisher, which I think is an awesome, classic John Ramada cover. This is an affordable book I'd recommend for anybody that's looking to get a you know, pretty nice book at a low cost. I think this one should be worth a lot more than it is. I mean, the first appearance of Punisher, you know, is going sky high, but you can pick up the second appearance for probably 20, 30 bucks if you're lucky. <clears throat> Number 133. I used to have multiple copies of that one, but I keep selling them on eBay. I get hard up for money and I'll sell it. So I need to get some more of them. This is 
kind of a wacky cover. 131, Dr. Octopus marrying Aunt May. <laughs> A story when I was a kid in Marvel Tales. I used to have a bunch of these in Marvel Tales, and I finally upgraded to the Spider-Man number 130. And this is a major, major key. This is one of my favorite books. I'm sure pretty much everybody would love to have this book, which you should get in your collection. This book is only going to go up in value. First appearance of the Punisher. This actually was a CGC uh, 4.5, but I had to unslab it. I still have the. Uh, you know, the thing just approves y'all. I mean, I don't care. It's, it doesn't mean anything, but it's just there for nostalgia's sake. <clears throat> 128. Of course, I've read that book. I've read it like two or three times. I'm not ashamed to admit that. Hell yeah, I'm going to read that book. I'm just going to look at that in a slab. I'm going to be reading that motherfucker. Alright, number 126. And number 125. This one needs to be upgraded. Looks like it's pretty friggin' beat up. The guy who sold it to me said it was like in fine condition, which is bullshit, because that book is not in fine condition. <laughs> I was pretty mad at him, but he didn't really do much about it, so I didn't really care. I didn't pay a whole lot for it, so I didn't get put up too much of a fight. Number 123, awesome Luke Cage cover. Then I've got a couple of the, um, number 122. This is a book that pretty much everybody needs. I actually have two of them. One of them is missing the centerfold, which is freaking ridiculous. So this, I think this one's missing the centerfold. So it's virtually worth nothing. But this one, um, probably about a 3.5 condition. It's, it's a little rough. I'd like to get a better one. But it doesn't have any writing on it either. Really, really, really need to upgrade it. It's a beautiful cover. Death of uh, Gwen Stacy. And, or, sorry, Death of Green Goblin. This is the Death of Gwen Stacy. This one's about a 4, 4.5 or so. Wish I had a better shaped one, but it's just not to suffice until I uh, win the lottery or rob a bank. There's number 120. Number 119, awesome Hulk storyline. I've got to rush through these. I've got about a minute left. <clears throat> number 118, then I'm going to continue on with part two Count as we count these down. Casey case those. Nah, I ain't that kind of countdown. 117. Counting down my favorite Spider Man books. 116. Number 115. Pretty cool cover. A Spider Man about gets shot by Aunt May. Number 114. As we run out of time. 113. I think I can make it. 112. There's 111. I'm short here. 110. Yep, yep. Kind of a boring Gibbon book. This one's actually real high grade, about a 9.0. Doctor Strange. 108. 10 seconds left. Can I make it? 107. 106. 105. 104. 